back to my channel. It's just Janine. Thank you so much for coming back and watching another one of my videos today. And for those that are tuning into my video for the very first time, welcome. And don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. And for those that have been with me since day one, welcome back. So in today's video, we're just going to be keeping with the theme of natural hair and DIYs. And I'm just going to bring to you another uh, recipe or another hair uh, DIY that can help promote healthy uh, hair, stronger hair, and also help to grow your hair. So this is going to be an aloe vera hair serum that I'll be sharing with you. So it's only three ingredients. Once again, trying to keep it very simple and easy for y'all. Now what drew me to this particular recipe or this particular DIY uh, hair recipe is that it said it's supposed to grow your hair two inches in one week. So you're supposed to apply this serum to your scalp every day, massage it in, every day once a day for a week and at the end of the, and at the end of the week um it's going to it's supposed to grow your hair two inches so i'm going to show y'all uh, the length of my hair now and then from this video from today of this video until the next uh video which will be a week from now i'm going to show you if my hair actually grew two inches so please stay tuned to that so today i'm just making the the recipe today but I'm going to do a uh, video for each day that I do put the serum in my hair. And then at the very end, I'm going to do a video to see if it actually grew my hair. So please stay tuned for that video because I'm actually excited to see if this stuff is actually going to grow my hair two inches. Now, people have talked about that their hair has grown two inches. Their hair has gotten thicker within that week's time. So, you know, everything is not for everybody, but it doesn't hurt to try. Everything here is all natural. So, you know, what could possibly go wrong? Hopefully nothing will go wrong other than just, you know, growing my hair. That That's the one thing I want you to go right is my hair growing. So I'm going to show y'all here in just a second and excuse the lighting. The sun is kind of going in and out. Um, it's partly cloudy here, but I'm going to show y'all the length of my hair. I'm going to wet it so that way you can get the, the so y'all can see the true length of my hair. So I'm going to wet a portion of my hair so you can see the true length of my hair. And then I'm going to, on the next video, the last video, the follow-up, you will see if it actually grew two inches. So I'm going to show y'all my hair length right now. Okay, so I wet the back of my hair, a piece of the back of my hair. And the reason why I did that is because the back of my hair is much shorter uh, uh, than the uh, middle and the front. So I wet the uh, back portion of my hair. I'm just going to twist it all the way down, straighten my neck up so I get a true length. All right. And right to my collarbone, right there by my neck, right at my collarbone, just barely at my collarbone. Yeah, let's see, just barely. That's my collarbone right there. All right, so I'm gonna twist it all the way down and I want y'all to see where it lands. All right. Well, actually, I think it, well, I'm pulling on it, so that's probably, let me not pull too hard. Because I'm actually pulling my hair, but maybe that'll give me, well, just right at my, right at my bottom lip. So a few things about the aloe vera plant that I really like is, one, it just has a lot of major benefits. Like I said, it has a lot of benefits when it comes to promoting health. So it helps to prepare dead skin cells. It also helps to condition your hair, making it smooth, making it shiny. It also reduces dandruff, and it also helps an itchy scalp. If your scalp is itchy, it helps to relieve that as well. So castor oil is big for me, and it's a staple in my house. And I use castor oil because the biggest benefit of castor oil is it promotes a hair growth. So I have been using it for quite some time now, ever since I went natural. So my hair has really thickened, and it has grown some, um, but it's still, like I said, not as fast as I would like for it to be. So with the castor oil, it is rich in omega-9 fatty acids, and it also keeps your hair moisturized and keeps it also from drying out. Now, vitamin E is an antioxidant, so it helps to repair and to rebuild tissues. When it's applied to the scalp, it reduces inflammation, it promotes hair growth, and it also repairs damaged follicles. So the first item I have here is the vitamin E, which are the, the gel capsules. Maybe some people out there that don't know what it looks like, so... I'll hold it up here so you can see. That's the gel capsule. 
we have here our trusty castor oil. And last but not least, we have our aloe vera plant. <laughs> I'll stand back a little bit. This is the leaf, aloe vera leaf. And I have never actually bought an aloe vera plant or leaf before. Um, but I said for this one, I'm going to try it out because aloe vera does have a lot of uh, hair benefits and health benefits overall. So those are the items that we'll be using for this DIY today. So let's get started. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our aloe vera plant and we're going to cut it in half and sit the other half to the side uh, for later. So I'm going to cut it in half and then I'm going to cut off the sides and then I'm going to cut off the top part and then extract the aloe vera from the plant. So the aloe vera plant has been extracted and we have just put it into this um, canister, well not a canister, but it's uh, the mixer for my Ninja. So we're going to actually blend all the ingredients. So I'm just putting everything in just to one container to mix. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the uh, castor oil and it's going to be three tablespoons of castor oil. So now we're going to get the vitamin E capsules and we're going to need 10 of these and they will be pierced and the oil will be extracted from them. So we're not putting the whole capsules in there. We will be piercing them or cutting them and just pouring the oil inside of the mixture. Better yet, let me just use these scissors. So the last step is just to blend it, make sure it's mixed very well and that it is even consistency and you're going to store it in the refrigerator for up to 30 days. So we're just going to put our top on. I just put the blade inside and just put the top on here and we'll get our handy dandy blender. Mm -hmm. So we'll check the consistency and see how it looks. It looks like egg yolk. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a, a liquid consistency there. Oop, I just poured it out. Alright guys, so I'm done with the recipe, got everything done, got everything blended, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Now what I may do is actually just take the rest of the aloe vera plant and just put it in here and just mix it up because there's really not that much left. It's just like a short, like there's really nothing here for real, so it's just mostly just this part. So I know it's, it is very um, boogery sticky like. <laughs> It's, it's, it's gross. It's, it's a gross feeling, this aloe vera plant. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please stay tuned for the next video that will be coming. There will be some other videos in between, so keep an eye on those. So if you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please comment. Click that subscribe button for me, people, and share. And to help me grow my channel, it's just Janine. Bye.